Hey, everybody. How's everybody going? You guys have lunch? All right. If you didn't, get it later. So just a note of clarification. Harry is the one for EV Energy. I'm going to be sitting here interviewing him. So Harry is Senior Growth Marketing Manager for EV Energy. And Harry, I think, wins the prize for traveling the farthest. He's come over from London, as in the UK, as in he survived the great airline fiasco. He's here. And um, EV Energy also has offices up in Palo Alto. Um, Harry, you've had a long career in marketing. You've even run your own business related to bicycles, I think, right? So let's talk about smart charging. Uh, just the very concept of it makes me think, have I been doing this wrong? Have I been dumb charging my car? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a funny term to put out there. So smart charging is used in the concept of home charging. So how, how we do it is you use automated forecasts from the energy grid to schedule your charging to the cheapest and the greenest times on the grid. And how you do that is super, super simple. You just plug your car into charge at home, and then we've got this little app, and you just set when you want your car ready by. And then we use those forecasts from the energy grid to calculate when the cheapest and the greenest times are to charge your car. So when you get back to your car in the morning, it's all fully charged. You haven't had to think about it. But you get a lovely little report that will tell you just how much carbon you've saved and just how much cost you've saved. And so that's, that's smart charging. Wonderful. And so. I, are you the only ones doing this? Or doesn't Tesla do some, something like that, similar? So there's a bunch of companies that also do smart charging as well. Um, and Tesla, within their app, you can schedule your car manually. Um, but that creates a bunch of challenges, right? Is you end up with what's known as like a second peak, because everybody's off-peak rates will start at broadly the same time. And that's a challenge, because suddenly there's this massive demand for energy that comes onto the grid at like 12 or 1 AM. But there's no solar at that time. <laughs> so the only solution to find the energy to charge everyone's cars is to turn on coal and to turn on gas. And that's not helping the acceleration for the decarbonization of transport. Very, very true. Um, I would love to know the start of, you know, how, how did this idea spark? I think you said one of the co-founders, Chris or Nick, were driving down the 280s. I would love to hear that story. Yeah, so, so we actually, we started right here in California. Um, our co-founder, Nick, was, was over here working on the challenge of how do you store all the energy from these massive solar farms? Um, and so, yeah, he was driving down the 280 past one of these farms in a very early Tesla, and he just sat there and went, whoa, what if we collected all of these batteries together and used these as the solution for storing solar? And that's really how the concept of smart charging was born. And that was four years ago now. And in that time, we've now got nearly 90,000 people on our app, which is pretty epic, um, in 50 countries around the world with over 4 million charging sessions that have happened through our app, which is just, it's been a crazy ride. That's fantastic. And you guys are also a B Corp. Yes. Yeah, what does yeah. that mean? So B Corp, again, that like also started over here in California. And effectively, what it means is we're, we're not just here to make profits, as like most companies are. We're, we're here to leave it the, the planet in a better place than we found it, both in the people uh, that we employ, uh, the customers that we serve, uh, and then the products that we deliver. And everything is aiming to, to be better for the planet and better for the people and leave it better than we found it. Absolutely. So I think here we're speaking to the choir, right? Where all of us are Tesla drivers, EV drivers. So if I'm just considering my first EV, or I'm talking to a friend who has an EV, and I'm really thinking about the car, not necessarily the charging quite yet. So how should I start to go about thinking in terms of smart charging right from the get-go? Like, what are some of the benefits that you guys offer? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone who's got an EV kind of gets a bit fed up of, of hearing this endless comparison between the price of gas and the price of electricity, because you're sat there going, yeah, I know. I've got an EV. It's great. Um, but there's a lot of work to do in terms of managing the energy that goes into our cars. And in California alone, like 20% year over year price increase on, on the cost of the electricity that goes into your car. And that's already like 80% more expensive than the rest of the US. So there's a long way to go in terms of bringing the cost and bringing the carbon intensity of that down. So. Like we break it down into, into four really simple areas. Firstly, you've got that automated scheduling of, of the charging that we talked about. 
Um, and that's all done through a secure API directly to the car. So you just download the app and, and use your Tesla credentials and we now talk to your car and, and can manage your charging that way. But it doesn't just end there, right? So one of the things that we do is we work with utility programs or utility providers because they're sat there scratching their heads because they can see all of these EVs coming straight onto the grid and they don't really understand the challenges and the problems that that's going to cause for them. So there's a few of them that we're working with and they're running these pilot programs in an effort to understand better how that impacts the energy that they produce. So uh, if you are based in the Marin County Energy, uh, Marin Clean Energy Service Area or the Silicon Valley Clean Energy Service Area, um, we have pilot programs with them. So they'll give you like 30 bucks for signing up and then $10 every month that you stay with them, um, charging using the app that we provide for them. And that's a great way for them to better understand how EVs are going to impact the grid, but also for you to earn money from your charging. But if you don't live in those service areas, like that's fine. Just use the regular EV Energy app, and you can earn rewards on your charging. So for every charge you do, you earn points, and those points accumulate over the year. So you can end up with like sixty to a hundred dollars in vouchers that you can use at Amazon and REI. So you can literally get your shopping for charging your car. It's, which is just super, super cool. But I think the thing we're most excited about is our solar feature. Um, and that's the ability to charge your car using your solar panels. Tell us about, isn't that car right there charging right now on solar over there? <laughs> yeah, so um, over to my right, we've got a mobile solar unit. And that's currently charging the, uh, the Tesla that's parked in front of it using, using our app. So we've located the charger. We've calculated the size of the array. And we've set a ready by time in the car. And that solar energy is being funneled into the car at the appropriate rate. And so we've had this in our app for a little while now. Um, so if you've got home solar, what you do is you tell us where your array is. You give us your address, and you, you tell us how big your array is so we can work out how much energy it's generating. Um, and we've been running this in beta for about 12 months now. We've had about 1,000 drivers using this. Even Kelvin, the vice president of the Tesla Owners Club, he's, he's been one of our beta users. He's been super helpful in feedback. And... Um, and we use these forecasts to match your charging to, to the best times available um, based on the solar energy. Um, but that's, that's the beta program that's been running for a little while now. But we're, we're really excited because we've now on to like the stage two of our solar product. Now, so let me play the devil's advocate a little bit. So here in California, we've got plenty of sun, right? What about the rest of the country where the sun maybe doesn't shine quite as much? How do you foresee being able to overcome that hurdle, you know, if it's cloudy? Yeah, absolutely. So I think to like best answer that question, I've probably got to like just break down a little bit more about how how it works. And so throughout the day, right, the sun doesn't just turn on and turn off. It the amount of energy that your solar panels produce will flex up and flex down. And if cloud cover might come over, that'll dip throughout the day. And previously our app would just turn your car charging on and turn it off. But what's new about it now is we will match the charge rate of your car to your solar generation. And we do that in a number of ways. So firstly, we use solar irradiation forecasting to understand how much energy is going to be produced. And then we use satellite tracking in real time to monitor, monitor any, um, cloud and weather movements around the world so that we can have a really accurate representation. It's like 95% accurate on how much energy your solar is going to be producing. And that way, you can have, you don't need to buy a cable. You don't need to buy a wall box. You can just plug your car in and your car will now match its solar charging to your generation. And so I come from England, right? And we don't have enough solar energy in the UK to charge your car on solar all year round. So within the app, we've built this in. So there's a little toggle that you can switch. You don't need to run out to your car and plug it in and unplug it every time the sun comes out. We'll all manage that for you. And you can either have it set to solar only, so your car will only charge on your solar energy for a completely zero carbon, zero cost charge, or you can have solar and grid. And so we use a mix of energy from the grid based on the cleanest and the cheapest times and energy from your solar generation so that when you get back into your car, it's been charged to the best way possible. Absolutely fantastic. And what do the governments think of all this? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually been one of the biggest challenges. Um, and like Tesla, Tesla have felt this themselves, is you're endlessly trying to battle this upcoming regulation Companies like us, companies like Tesla, we move so fast. Technology can be built in literally days. And, and governments and the regulation that goes into to support that 
takes a while to catch up. And so definitely not days. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, that's the whole reason the factory moved, right? Is, you know, <laughs> California was, was just taking too long. And, and that's a challenge for us as well, because governments around the world uh, are looking at this and going, it's a real risk. If we've got technology that we don't understand charging all of the cars on the road, what happens if somebody hacks into that and turns it off? So there's a load of regulation just around safety and it's around security. Um, and it's really about understanding what's the impact on the energy grid. I don't want to say the word blackouts or wildfires, but like they really do have an impact on us charging our cars and, and governments want to understand that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, what about the financial and carbon saving implications? Run any test event, any data you can share? I think you're cutting out a little bit there, but um, just to like repeat the question, it was, yeah, costs and carbon savings, right? So... Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of ways we can, we can work this one out. But effectively, um, if you've got a time of use tariff, uh, but you don't have solar, you can save 300 bucks a year without a problem just by shifting your charging to your off-peak rate automatically. You don't have to think about it. If you've got solar, then that doubles. You can see, I mean, we've got a user, Andrew, who's been on our beta program. He's easily saved over $600 this year um, just by using our solar charging feature. Um, and then even if you don't have a time of use rate or you don't have solar, through our reward program, again, like 100 bucks a year in rewards. So like you add it all up and it's a significant saving. And that's not even taking into account the, like the massive positive impact you're having by removing hundreds of kilos of carbon every year from the atmosphere. And uh, what about, so this is for people who have, uh, sounds like single family homes, they've got solar, home solar installed, right? Um, are you thinking about uh, multifamily housing that might have solar implemented? I know that's maybe a few years down the road, right? But are you thinking that far? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we love from coming to events like this and, and talking to customers is you really get to understand how people are building their own EV ecosystems. And so, yeah, you've got multi-unit dwellings and solar for them. Um, you've got also got Previously, I mean, it's just been homes with one, one EV, and, and that's a challenge in itself to manage that charging. And now when you have homes with two EVs, two EVs and a power wall, two EVs and a power wall and solar, and then you have like an electric hot water, it's like, how does that all come together? And this is a story that's writing itself right now, and it's just amazing to be part of that and just listening to our customers, working out what's important to them, and then delivering the products that will help them with the the energy ecosystem that works. So what would you say is, uh, what's next for EV energy? For us, it's, it's, we're super excited about this solar feature, especially here in Cali. I mean, you have so much sun here and it's great. I mean, especially being from England where it rains all the time, but yeah, that's the thing we're most excited about. So for, t I mean, today we're running a special offer. Um, so if you early bird sign up to our our solar smart charging feature. Um, you get that for 75 bucks for the entire year or it's $7.50 a month. And that will give you $600 plus savings. And that's not including the rewards. Like it's, it's mental. So we're really, really excited about that. So yeah, you can scan the QR code over here or if you've got any questions because not everyone's setup is the same, you can come and find us. We're right by the entrance um, in a big green tent with EV Energy written on it. and me or one of the team will, will happily answer any of your questions. But that's the thing that we're really excited about is, is bringing solar to California and the rest of the world. Awesome. I think California is also bringing solar to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a day for the sun cream. <laughs> so Harry, just to wrap up, um, do you have a favorite quote that you can share with us and what does it mean for you? So at EV Energy, we have this concept called win-win-win. And I like we touched on it earlier being a B Corp and by not being a company that's just for profits. And so everything we do, we aim to be a win-win-win. And, and that starts off with the win is a win for the energy systems. And that sounds a bit funny, but ultimately we all rely on them. Without, without the electricity, we don't get cars to drive around in. And so we need to support them. And if we're reckless with how, I, how we charge our cars, then they can't support the, the charging requirements we have. So first off, we need to make sure that it's a win for the energy grid. And then we need to make sure it's a win for the planet by making sure that the energy that we do charge our cars with doesn't come from coal and it doesn't come from gas, but we're using wind and we're using solar uh, and we're optimizing our charging for that. And then the last win is really for the drivers. And that's twofold. It's not just 
the convenience that ultimately we strive for, but it's also the financial savings. And so if we can deliver a win for the energy systems and a win for the planet and a win for the drivers, we're a very, very happy bunch of people. Amen to that. So if you guys haven't talked to EV Energy, they're right over there with the green tent, or you can come talk to Harry right here. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Harry.